Brandon Mike here. It's a beautiful Wednesday. Uh, it's almost 11 a.m. Beautiful day out. Well, it's a nice day to do some uh, trimming. I got a little job I got to do. I don't know. I might be here maybe for an hour, if that. Maybe a little longer. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, just going to do some trimming of a small garden in the backyard. Just some shrubs. And uh, the customer supplied uh, some bags of mulch and uh, some soil, which I'm going to add for him too. Okay, so I thought I'd share this, and uh, we'll, we'll see wh what happens. All right, we'll see you all in a little bit. Yeah, the skate's not that wide. Even if I was cutting this long, the mower would not fit through there. It's 24, 5, maybe 26 inch opening, if that. It's pretty tight. And that's what you get here with some of these small properties. So this is what we're going to be doing here. It doesn't want well, much taken off, just make it even. All right, cut across. Looks like uh, they've been, yeah, we're gonna do a box. We're not gonna round them up. We'll just box them. Pretty minor. I'm gonna clean up this stuff here. Just remove uh, all the mulch stuff. There's not really any, hardly any mulch here. So first we're gonna do all the trimming. And then we're going to clean all the beds out because of the trimming clippings and all the mulch stuff. And then we're going to be adding uh, some soil. And we got some mulch. Okay. Let's do this. One thing I forgot to mention. I will be starting this job with uh, my good old Black & Decker 20 volt battery powered hedge trimmer. You guys have been following me and you've seen a video way back uh, that I forgot I had this. <laughs> Found it hidden in a shed. And it's it's pretty old actually. It's probably pushing 20 years old. I'm not kidding you. And it's working great. So let's see how long this is going to last. Okay. I do have a backup plan too. I have a gas powered one too, just in case. Let's do this.
Okay, so here we have it. Mull the trim job. Didn't touch that tree, that's fine. It's all gonna grow in nice. Cleaned it out, put some soil in, some mulch. I forgot to bring my blower. Ugh. And I don't have a broom. <laughs> I wanted to clean up this patio here a little better, but it's okay, but I'm sure the customer will be fine with it. So, soil and mulch. I really had to stretch out the mulch. They didn't have enough mulch, but it's fine. It'll be fine. If they want more mulch, I'll come back here. Just add a couple more bags, a few minutes. It's not a big deal, so that's it. So what he plans on doing is uh, resodding this backyard too. He's gonna do that himself, but he didn't want to do the gardens himself. But it's all good, right? I told him just to uh, overseed it and uh, top dress it, but he's been trying and trying for years and nothing's happening here. We got a lot of clay under the ground here. That's why. Okay, so there you have it. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. Just uh, a quick little video there. Me doing a quick trim job there. I estimated that I'll be here uh, almost two hours. Uh, I got here, yeah, just before 11. I, th I think I pretty much started at about 11 because I talked to them first. Uh, and it's 12.43 right now, so it's not too bad. And I got paid, so that's the main thing, right? So uh, yeah, the uh, Black & Decker uh, worked perfect in the backyard there. So in between, uh, sorry about the shaky camera there, <laughs> in between, uh, you know, raking out clippings and, and crap, you know, from the garden stuff, I plugged in the battery again, just to be sure. And uh, it actually lasted for that whole job. It was slowing down near the end and I was tempted to go grab my Echo uh, uh, hedge trimmer, the gas one. But I was determined to finish it with the battery powered, and I did. <laughs> I might look into uh, other brands. Uh, you know, this old, this uh, Black and Decker, it's an old bugger, but hey, it's still working, right? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, no fuel to use. It's quiet, not disturbing any neighbors. And for little jobs like this, why not, right? I might look into, uh, you know, Eagle brand or uh, Eco or Eagle or I don't know, something, whatever. And there's some other ones too people are talking about. And eventually I would like to get into more battery powered. You know, not only is it uh, quieter, quieter to use and uh, better for the environment, not using fuel, uh, they're lighter. You know, my shoulders are not sore at all. So they would have been sore if I used the gas powered one, but anyway. Okay, so uh, um, yeah, leave a comment and see what you think. And yeah, I did stretch out the, uh, the mulch there at the end I, I mentioned, uh, you know, the, Thank God he, he did buy uh, extra bags. So it could probably use another bag or so topped up here and there. So he, he'll find it anyway after it rains and it kind of moves around and stuff. But if he wants me to come back, I'll come back and spread a couple more bags for him. But they supplied all the, the mulch, the, the soil, the bags were right there. I just had to come up with my tools and uh, do the job and that's it. So easy, easy, in and out. Okay, so uh, yeah, that concludes this video and uh, be nice to everyone and do something nice for someone today. And peace to everyone, alright? We'll see you soon again.